everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lucy and in today's video I am recommending historical fiction books that are perfect for winter. So thank you for clicking on this video. I absolutely love making historical fiction content and I know that you will love the recommendations in this video. So before we do get cracking with the recommendations, a quick word from today's video sponsor, which is Anna Luisa Jewelry. So I am super excited to be working with Anna Luisa today to talk about their beautiful jewelry and to tell you guys that they actually have a Christmas campaign coming up that is 25% off all of their jewelry. So if you guys haven't bought your holiday gifts yet, if you haven't bought your Christmas presents for anyone, yet. Anna Luisa Jewelry would make the perfect gift and I want to show you guys a few pieces that I picked up actually from their website. So the first is this beautiful necklace which is the temple green necklace. So there's actually two necklaces and what I love most about Anna Luisa is that you can layer their pieces and just have this like beautiful effect. I also picked up these little huggy hoops which are the cruise hoops. I also picked up another pair of hoops which are these gorgeous little celestial huggies and honestly like i am obsessed so i have a special code for you guys down in the description bar below you can click through to that link and you will get access to their amazing sales just before christmas so huge thanks to Anna Luisa for kindly working with me on this video and i hope you guys pick up a few of the items on their site and i will leave these linked down below so from gorgeous jewelry to gift this christmas to historical fiction novels to read in the winter period as you guys know i'm a huge historical fiction fan i am obsessed i would say this genre is on par with like romance and fantasy as my perfect genre and in fact historical romance and historical fantasy are huge favourites of mine and a few of these recommendations fit that bill. So historical fiction is just the perfect genre I think to read in the winter time. There is something about the winter time that is very nostalgic, something that makes you want to cozy up and become quite insular and that's what I love about historical fiction is that it is perfect for this time of year because obviously it is set in the past and there's something about going back to the past that really is just special about this time of year that you can really romanticize it you can really get cozy and just imagine yourself in a different time period so I wanted to recommend you guys specifically wintry historical fiction that would make you feel all cozy but also quite festive and I really hope you find a book in this video that suits your tastes. So without further ado, let's crack on because we have quite a few books to go through. So the first book is one that I actually read around the winter time last year and this is a very, very lovely, festive historical read. So this is historical fantasy and it is The Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden. So the one thing about this book, which is kind of hard to pin down, it doesn't have a historical time period attached to it but it is set in a historic Russia. So there is a lot of like Russian culture, Russian history and folklore woven into this book. And this book is basically the first in a series called the Winter Night series. So winter is in the title. But basically this is a gorgeous historical fantasy series all about a girl called Vasya who discovers basically she is magical. The one thing I love most about this book series and the reason why it's perfect historical fiction for wintertime is it because it really incorporates a lot of folklore, a lot of Russian folklore specifically because it just feels so cozy, so wintry, so magical. And if you like your historical fiction with a touch of magic, a touch of folklore then you will absolutely love the bear and the nightingale so Vasya can always sense the magic that's around her and is very very in tune with kind of the kind of magical goings on in her little sleepy village but she has always been destined for more and basically Vasya's magic is at odds with the very religious kind of undertones of the time when a priest basically arrives in her village and starts to make her life a misery because her family wants her to get married but Vasya knows that she has magical abilities. She doesn't want to get married, she doesn't want to be in a convent, she wants to pursue a life of magic and when religion threatens to kind of overtake this village and removes a lot of the kind of folklorian kind of things that they usually do, so folklore's dictated this village's like you know habits and mannerisms and everything they're very kind of superstitious and when this priest kind of descends upon their village it strips away all of that and this is just the most atmospheric 
lovely bewitching read but it's also super super wintry it is literally like set in in the depths of winter in russia so you can imagine the kind of cozy atmosphere that's created when you read this and also the historic nature of this book the fact that it's set in a russia that is very far in the past is just super super magical because there's something about like russian history and you know culture that is very kind of romantic i guess and i just absolutely had a whale of a time reading this book it is the perfect historical winter read and if you are looking for an injection of kind of festive spirit this book will hopefully deliver that for you okay so the next book i would like to recommend is midnight in everwood by m a kuznia so little disclaimer i work for the publisher who publishes this book and i did the publicity campaign for this book as part of my day job so i was very very lucky to have worked on this book and i have talked about this book on my channel a few times the reason being because this book is a historical fantasy book that is just a pure delight and perfect for this time of year. So this is set in 1906 in the Edwardian period. So it's set in 1906 in Nottingham and it follows a woman called Marietta Steele who basically, you know, she has grown up and wanted to be a ballerina for as long as she can remember. So she is an excellent ballerina. She is really, really talented, but as was the custom in those days, her parents want her to get married and marry well. However, Marietta really does not want to marry. She does not want to kind of live that life of just being somebody's wife and mother. She wants to make a name for herself. She wants to be a ballerina. So then she encounters this mysterious character called Dr. Drosselmeyer, who is like really strange. And he basically creates these like magical kind of like artifacts i guess like he creates these like magical toys and stuff that marietta senses are not fully in this world there's something magical about the things that he creates and then a series of events happen and marietta finds herself needing to escape from a situation that she has found herself in and basically she goes through into this magical world called everwood now everwood is basically kind of like a world of pure Christmas magic. It is pure beauty, like the snowscapes, the kind of dancing, the balls, all very, very cozy, all very Christmassy. But there is a darkness to Everwood as well. There is romance in this book. There are beautiful dancing scenes. There is just pure historical goodness in terms of like the 1906 setting. And also Everwood is kind of this historic magical land. Also, it's worth noting, this is a retelling of The Nutcracker. So, as you can imagine, if you know The Nutcracker Ballet, you know, it's very, very Christmassy, it's very magical, it's very atmospheric, and honestly, like, if you want a pure, amazing Christmas read, you know, like, you're cozying up, you want something historical, you want something enchanting, magical, escapist, this is the book for you, and I'd really recommend it. Okay, so the next one is for all you historical romance fans out there, and this is the Wallflower series by Lisa Claypass. I know some of you guys who watch a lot of my romance videos are gonna be like, what are you doing recommending Lisa Claypass again? I know guys, I have like serious issues and I'm obsessed with this author. However, bear with me please, because the Wallflower series are basically set around the seasons. So this is why I wanted to recommend the second book, which is Devil in Winter. Is it the second book or the third book? I think it might be the third book. Anyway, Devil in Winter. Basically, if you do not know what the Wallflower series is, it is a historical romance series set in the Victorian era. And it follows a group of friends who are all wallflowers, meaning in a ballroom, they are never asked to dance. They stay to the sides, never dancing, and they just don't get any male attention, basically. So they are known as the wallflowers. And basically, Devil in Winter takes one of the friends and gives her her own romance story, her own happy ending. And it is following a woman called Evie, who basically has this amazing love story with a character called Sebastian, who is a lord. He is Lord St. Vincent, and he is a very, very, like, bad boy character. He is, like, a notorious rake. He is known for seducing women. He is just an all-round bad apple. However, Evie definitely manages to fall under his trap, and they both fall in love with each other. 
but what I love most about this book is the setting. This is obviously set in winter and if you really want to have a cosy historical romance book, this is perfect for you. I would really recommend starting at the beginning, which is with the book Secrets of a Summer Night. Then you go into It Happened One Autumn, Devil in Winter, and then there's a spring one. I can't remember what it's called, I'm sorry. I can't remember what the last book is called, but Devil in Winter, you have to read. There's also a theme with the devil books in Lisa Claypass's series. All of her historical romance series are interconnected. And let's just say like the devil character pops up quite a lot because his family, um, you know, they just all have these amazing love stories. And it's amazing. I'd really, really recommend all of Lisa Claypass's historical romances but in particular I wanted to recommend Devil in Winter for this historical fiction wintery book recommendations video. So the next book I really want to recommend is an oldie that I don't actually think I've mentioned on this channel before but I read it when I was literally like 13, 14 and it stayed with me all this time. It is Old Magic by Marianne Curley and basically this book is amazing it's a time travel romance time slip romance and basically it is a YA book but the book starts in present day and it follows a girl called Kate who is a witch and her family are kind of like witches and then she meets the new boy at school called Jared and he has let's just say like supernatural tendencies like certain things happen that really you know make Kate think he has magic like he is you know someone like me he has magic then the time slip event occurs and they basically go back to the middle ages and they're literally like living in a castle they have to navigate being from the modern age and they have to go back to the middle ages and they're trying to like navigate life as life in the middle ages it is fascinating and let me just say like it wasn't so much the romance that really kind of hooked me in here it was the time travel, you know, the fact that they're going back to the Middle Ages, which I must say, I've not read a lot of books about, so hit me up with some recommendations. If you have any historical fiction books you would like to recommend from the Middle Ages, they basically go back in time to the Middle Ages. They find themselves like at this castle. Basically back in time, they were both very influential people and they stumble across a uncle of Jared's, I think. And basically he is like the villain of the story and there is a magical plot that they have to work out. But basically they can't go forward back to the modern day until they sort out whatever is brewing on in the Middle Ages. So would really recommend this one. The reason I'd recommend it for winter as well is it's just so cozy and like, really atmospheric like you can almost like smell and you know like feel the kind of like atmosphere that the author conjures up it's very very atmospheric in terms of like you can really feel like you're in the middle ages it's very very dark it's very very like dirty cold like i remember just feeling like oh you can like almost sense the cold in this book and honestly i'm a big big fan i think i need to reread this book i wish more people have read this book so let me know if you have i'd be like super super keen to reread this very soon but i would really recommend it for winter okay so the next book i'd like to recommend to you all is dissolution by cj sanson so you may have you know you may have read this book it is a hugely popular series and the matthew shard like series is like one of the most well-known historical fiction series so as the name suggests dissolution this is set during the dissolution of the monasteries in tudor times during the time of henry the eighth who has broken away from the catholic church so matthew shardlake is a lawyer he is a hunchback and he has a very like lonely existence but basically he is sent along with his assistant to this monastery where there's been a murder and he has got to get to the bottom of this murder and really solve this so this is honestly like super atmospheric. If you really like Tudor books, I think you'll really, really like this. I think the one thing that I really kind of rated about this book is that it's not a kind of Tudor kings or queens novel. It is a historical mystery and it's done super, super well. And this series obviously is kind of a longer series. I think there's a good few books in the series, but I've just read the first book, Dissolution, and I really rated it. I found the historical mystery really compelling. The setting that it's in this kind of like monastery is like, 
fascinating. You do not know who to trust the whole way there. And Matthew Shardlick himself as a character is really fascinating and a really just great character to kind of lead the book. So if you're looking for something atmospheric in the fact that it's a mystery, I find mysteries really great for this time of year to kind of like chill you to the bone and everything like that, then I think this would be an amazing book to read this Christmas or this winter. If you just want a little bit of a historical mystery, which I think historical mystery is one of those genres which honestly I need to read more of because I am super super into them. So I would be up for reading more historical mysteries. Let me know what your favourites are down in the comments below. And next up we have a YA or new adult series that I would love to recommend you for historical fantasy. So this is Kingdom of the Wicked. This is my gorgeous proof copy that was sent to me last year I believe from Hodderbook. So thank you for sending this gorgeous proof copy out. Kingdom of the Wicked by Kerry Maniscalco is the start of one of my new favourite series and honestly I rave about this book series like more than is possible. I'm obsessed, what can I say? So this is set in historic Italy and it's super super atmospheric because the main character Amelia is a witch and her and her family have always had magic but when the murder of Amelia's twin sister Vittoria is found, like Amelia is the one who finds her sister dead, she has to team up with her mortal enemy and that is one of the seven princes of hell. So if you like historical fantasy, if you like dark books that are super atmospheric, super dark, perfect for this time of year, very cosy, very wintry, you will love this series because I must say the historic Italy setting is absolutely beautiful, like really, really atmospheric, really compelling and honestly, this book is incredible, like I urge you all to read it. Obviously there is a little bit of a romance going on, I'm not going to spoil too much but honestly like just you guys wait until the second book because oh, oh. anyway I'll stop raving about this book but honestly what I loved about this book from a historical fiction perspective is it's so atmospheric like the food detailing like the food Amelia's family own a restaurant so there's like a lot of amazing like food imagery that's just incredible and it's a very historic setting so obviously there's lots of kind of like grand churches lots of beautiful italian architecture and everything so this is an incredible book and i would urge you all to read it if you haven't yet I think historical fantasy as well is like perfect for the winter time it's just so cozy it's honestly i think one of my favorite genres so I would really recommend Kingdom of the Wicked if you haven't read this incredible series yet. And finally, I wanted to recommend The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. I think you probably all expected this. This is historic fantasy and honestly, I am a huge fan. So this book first kicks off in the 1800s and this book is actually about a magical circus. So what this book does really, really well is how it spans through the generations, but obviously it does start in a historic setting in America and London, I believe. So it kind of spans across like different cities. It's just honestly one of the most incredible books ever perfect for autumn and winter. So if you've never read The Night Circus, you don't know what it's about. This is a historical fantasy series around this magical circus that just shows up unexpectedly. No one knows where it's going to go next or where it's going to, when it's going to come next basically. And it focuses on two people who have this incredible destiny that brings them together. They are both magicians and they both know that they are part of this kind of game, I guess, this kind of test and they will know when the test ends. They are told very, very little by their mentors who train them into using magic. And this book is full of amazing mystery, the most beautiful atmospheric settings. It's just pure magic. And the writing, guys, is just phenomenal. This book also does an incredible job of just transporting you into it, into the magic of this circus. You can smell like the toffee apples, the crisp leaves, the bite of the wind. Honestly, I urge you all to read this. I think this is the perfect book to read this time of year because it's just so magical. I do think it's superbly written and I love the historical settings, how we jump from kind of time period to time period, city to city. You never really know where it's gonna go next. 
and if you want something that's magical historical enchanting then i really would recommend the night circus it really is as good as everyone says i really thought it lived up to the hype when i read it a few months back but honestly, I would really recommend this as a beautiful historical fiction read for winter. So guys, that is it for my historical fiction books for winter. I really would recommend all of these and really hope that I've inspired you to pick up a historical book this winter time. Also, do not forget to click the link down below and get yourself an incredible discount on Ana Luisa jewellery this festive period. Or you can just buy yourself a lovely gift for yourself. I think that's always a good shout. And honestly, I am in love with the pieces so thank you Anna Louisa for working with me on this video don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video and you want more historical fiction videos up on this channel I love making these videos for you guys so I really really do hope you enjoy them and don't forget to subscribe for more thank you again for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video bye